How does Garfield influence your life? A character that appears in over 2400 newspapers, read by an estimated 200 million people, whilst he also has over 13,000 comic strips, an upcoming release, and too much weight. I'm the king, right? Anyways, in order to understand his changeability, we need a clock and a cream cake. Garfield's personality can be defined as sarcastic, lazy, and a soft spot for gluttony, especially, of course, for lasagna, which usually clashes with his owner's personality, John Arbuckle, who is stereotypically nerdy and rather clumsy. Together they create the conflict and stakes within all of Jim Davis's narratives, whilst Odie then puts the icing on the cream cake, with his stupid but lovely character. But all, oh, sorry. But all these personalities also fit perfectly within many cultures, from Japan to Brazil, due to its lack of social and political commentary, and makes more and more people engage within the story. But if we dive a little deeper within Garfield's interests, he loves lasagna, or otherwise pizza, coffee and sleeping. And if you juxtapose that with his irritations, he hates Mondays, normal and exercise. Now which person on earth does not share any of the same interests? And I didn't even mention his ability and confidence to manipulate others for his own wants and needs. You just need a little guidance, that's all. No, I don't need a little guidance. I need more... Cream cake, I'm hungry. But whilst he is so relatable that family members start to look at each other and say, Do I know you? There's also a main morale underneath the entertainment. Or rather, two morales, I should say. For the first one, what does this tell you? I'm talking about this picture. You can see Garfield comfortably sleeping whilst we simultaneously see a disappointed and happy Odie. Garfield can prove that you don't have to feel guilty for your lazy actions. In fact, he's totally shameless of his low productive efforts and likes to take things for granted. Or in Garfield's words, I'm not lazy, I'm just really good at doing nothing. But that's moral number one that Garfield tells you. Moral number two is interpreted in the exact opposite. Take this picture for example. This shows the consequences of a lazy attitude and how you should not take on things and that you should take actions into your own hands and not procrastinate like Garfield does. So the moral underneath its entertaining stories is not only that it's okay to like a bit of laziness, but also to take matters into your own hands and take responsibility. Now that I'm thinking about it, Garfield almost does nothing and yet he nearly earns a billion dollars from merchandise alone. Ah. Anyways, he's simply a very beloved character, and with his new film coming out, he might just be able to lose one extra pound. <laughs>